if you wanted to create a grid of photos or a collage without having to download any third-party apps or without paying for any one of them, then in this video, I'll be showing a very interesting method to do so, and a lot of people have no idea that something like this even exists. So let's begin with it right now. Okay, so all you'll need is the Apple's Shortcuts app. Chances are that you already have it on your iPhone, because it tends to be pre-installed on many devices. But even if not, you can just go ahead and get to the App Store and download it from there. It's free, it's official from Apple, so it's not a third-party app by any means. Anyways, you get inside the app, you open it up, and at the bottom of the page there is the tab bar with a bunch of different buttons. One of them is the gallery, it's the one on the right. So click on this button so it moves you inside the gallery section. And you should see this page with many different suggestions and like shortcuts to try. Now just click the search bar at the top of the page and I want you to search for photo grid. It is supposed to be there already. You don't really need to create anything from scratch. So tap on it. It's this green one right here. And after it shows up full screen, just click the blue button, add shortcut. So when you come back to the main section, back here to the shortcuts, you again just click this button located in the tab bar at the bottom. Anyways, the first shortcut is the one called Photo Grid. So now just run it by clicking on it. It gets you immediately to your gallery where you can pick many different photos. So just select the ones you want and then hit add. After this, you'll be shown a nice collage of photos of all the pictures you've selected from the gallery. It's easy and simple to do. In order to save it to gallery, however, because if you leave it like this, it won't get stored. Anyway, if you want to keep this picture, click share and then tap the button that says save image. This will save this newly created image into your gallery, so that's good. You may have noticed that you can also choose videos from the gallery when creating our collage, and yes, it is the case. But the problem is that it still comes up with a still image. So it only takes one frame from the video, it treats it a still image, and puts it into our collage, but I don't know, I don't really want this, so I just avoid adding any videos in here altogether. Of course, this way has its limitations as it can't be customized in any way, and you need to just go with the way it looks and you just have to be happy about it. But what's really important to know is that the order of the photos clicked matters. It really depends on which you select as first and which you select as last. Basically, the first one you tap will be the first one that will show up in our collage. Um, the second photo you selected will be the second one and so on. Even though you can't see those numbers, they are still there. So pay attention to the way you choose your photos. Anyways, we are now at the end of this video. I really hope that you found it useful and valuable. If you enjoyed it, just uh, leave a like on it so I can see that someone actually liked it. If you want to see more similar videos like this one, make sure you are subscribed to the Foxtech YouTube channel so you will not miss future videos like this one. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you later. Peace.